I'm not going to sit here and try to regurgitate and theorize and guess and speculate on what I think happened at the Boston Marathon explosion that just happened just a few hours ago. Why would I do that? There's so little information that there's no reason for several of the people who I've already watched on YouTube to make a video pointing fingers saying that it's nationality is the one responsible for this. Their ethnicity is the one responsible for this. The Tea Party is the one responsible for this. When we hardly have any facts, we hardly have any information, all we know is that a bomb was triggered and it harmed and killed innocent people. It took innocent lives. That's all we know. And yet instantaneously, we have the news, CNN. I was reading CNN's article, and guess what they did? They had an article about the story, everything that was happening, and then next to it, they had a Articles from last year in 2012, early 2012, of, of headlines that said, like, Arabs, Islam, terrorism, which this is an act of terrorism, but an act of terrorism does not mean that it's associated with Islam or someone who's an Arab. Big misconception, to be honest, is how people like to throw that out there is that terrorism is only associated with the religion of Islam. It's insane because... Twitter and, I, and people, there are, people are already using their religious and political ideologies to blame other people for this event. It's, and I find it sad to watch every single uh, media outlet, whether it be Twitter, CNN, TV, they use every single media outlet to create their own speculations and create propaganda for their own agenda on their news station or their uh or their article or, or their website and just wait just wait i guarantee you within a week or so after this event calms down we're gonna have people probably conservative republicans saying that grand theft auto 4 is the game responsible for this explosion and see i'm not gonna sit here and i'm not gonna post blame for anybody because there are two little facts there's not enough information to make a conclusion, much less I wouldn't even want to make a conclusion because it's not, it's just, I'm not a, a not, I'm not a news story person. I don't like watching the news. I never turn on the news. I hate the news for the most part because we have to deal with this. And what really kind of scares me is the fact that when a national tragedy happens like this, how many people, and this is a natural response, how many people are fearful, how many people run away and rather than trying to, or even people not even involved in the event, people who weren't even at Boston, rather than thinking logically, they resort to fear and instantaneous blame of someone who may or may not be guilty of this event. That's what we do, that's what I see in America today, is when we're in fear, of something and we don't know or don't have an answer, we instantly blame other people for it. And this is not only wrong on a, I think, moral level, but in news, news stories, television, social media outlets, it's wrong for the social media to do this. But social media, I believe, keeps stigmatizing and keeps reinforcing this idea that we need to blame someone because if we don't have any, if we don't have anyone to blame within the first hour or two of an event happening, everything's screwed. Like we're doomed. So what you're looking at here is Fox News contributor Eric Rush. He tweeted out this message, and you should probably tweet him my video because since I'm including him, he says, "Everybody do the national security ankle grab. Let's bring some more Saudis in without screening them. Come on, Boston Marathon." Someone responds to him by saying, "Tweet God, you're already blaming Muslims," and he responds by, "Yes, they're evil. Let's kill them all." Now I'd like to make it really clear that this guy is not simply trolling. He actually believes this, and this is what I'm talking about, folks, my fellow reptiles. This type of instantaneous blame by not only media outlets, by people who act have any even position of who gets uh, power in media, they use their their illogical brain, if they even have a brain, to blame on someone's nationality, someone's ethnicity, someone's religion, someone's belief, someone's faith, someone's lack of faith. It it shocks me that we as a nation are more focused on blaming other people than actually focusing on the tragedy that just recently happened and helping the people. The people who were injured and are, are going through psychological trauma due to this attack, 
Those are the people who we need to focus on and help first before we start casting stones at Goliath and saying he's the guilty one. You're dark-skinned. You're an Arab. You're wearing a thing on your head. You must be guilty of this terrorist attack. We don't know. We don't know. And for anyone to start blaming other people before you have any information, before we know anything about what happened, besides the fact that a bomb went off and people were killed, think first. Use your goddamn brain if you have one. That's really all I have to say about this. I honestly hope that one day that we as a nation can actually try to approach things logically and rationally rather than have fear, which is normal, but using that fear to blame others before we know any other information. That to me is not only morally wrong, but it goes to show the type of people that we really are. But I do want to end this video on a positive note, despite all of the sad, depressing news that you've probably been hearing in your tweets, Facebook, and social media. Several of the marathon runners who did not get injured at this marathon explosion, several of them actually ran to the nearest hospital, continued on running, and ran to the hospital and donated their blood to the victims who happened to get some of their limbs blown off. There was a guy, I saw a photo of a guy got his entire leg blown off from this event, uh, this terror act of terrorism. And these marathon runners ran extra to donate blood for these people. And when I saw that, I my heart lifted. Because when I, when I hear stuff like this, I get depressed. I don't like talking about depressing things like this because it, it makes me just sad and depressed knowing that people can do this. And then to see, you know, some piece of hope, some piece of encouragement of people actually going out of their way to donate blood at the marathon of what just happened... That's awesome. Those marathon runners, I would actually argue, are, in fact, true heroes. Not the news, not anybody associated with Fox News or CNN who like to throw propaganda, but for the people who actually knowingly go out and help and save lives.